hey guys it's oogs welcome to the channel and thank you for watching this is just a quick video to give you some update today is saturday today is the last game for chelsea football club on tour in the u.s against arsenal it might be tomorrow sunday for you guys uh, from overseas but it's gonna be today saturday here in america so we have some update very quickly i'm not gonna really take your time here and uh it doesn't look uh, good you know like i always tell you until the player is holding the shirt don't really believe on anything that all the sources are giving you out there because they are just trying they are just warding uh bringing some new sentences and then when the deal happened they say that i told you so but the majority of the so-called sources are just guessing all over the place to see if it's gonna work or not how many times have we signed somebody like jill kunde in the last uh, two years every single day we sign him he's looking for houses in london um he was seen outside Stamford Bridge. He's flying to London. He's been flying for the last two years. He's still in air with his private jet, uh, waiting to, la to land in London in order to sign a contract with Chelsea Football Club. All I can tell you, my friend, is that we are working. Thomas Tuchel and Todd Bowley are working very hard to get the players, but it doesn't depend only on Chelsea Football Club and many people will tell you if you are a big club if we are serious go there and get me Jules kunde go there and get me declan rice those people are not serious about themselves first they are just using word popular word bars to drive traffic because it doesn't depend only on the club or on the money Rafinha rejected Chelsea Football Club not because of money. We offered even twice the money he's getting at, uh, at Barcelona. We offered even more money to lead United, but he ended up by going f uh, to Barcelona. So when you said, if you are a serious club, go get me rice. And are you telling me that I have to go and pay 150 million the asking price for declan rice and get him just because certain people are complaining on social media listen those people are not serious because football is not a black or white when it comes to negotiation okay when it comes to negotiation you need bankers you need lawyers you need agent you need clubs a lot of stuff involved in a transfer than people don't know it's not that black or white so overnight we got some uh, news mostly from like uh, barcelona sources who are claiming already that barcelona were working the entire night to hijack the deal so gerard moreno moreno and uh, and the other big names in the Barcelona community are saying that uh, the deal between Gilles Kunde and Barcelona is almost done, 99%, as you can tell. So they reached an agreement last night, according to, to this source here. But listen, after 10 minutes or before even you finish watching this video, another version is come, gonna come out and say Chelsea already agreed and paperwork and all that. So you don't know what to believe anymore. Don't believe on anything that you are less the uh, or people are talking about right now. You have to wait and see. Look, even 433 here announcing already breaking news Barcelona and Sevilla have reached an agreement in principle yesterday they agreed with chelsea football club we were working the paperwork uh were going to be done today blah 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 now kunde is going to barcelona wow my friend <laughs> this is confusing so listen that's why we don't wanna give any kind of uh uh 
free pass to Barcelona when it comes to Marcos Alonso and uh, and Cesar Aspilicueta because guess what I have enough I have enough of Barcelona I don't want to do them any favor if they pay the money that we are demanding they can get Aspilicueta or whoever they want from the club but I'm not going to help them at all you know I was one of the people who said listen we should just let our players go and free the space, blah, 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 blah. But what Barcelona are doing, the dirty tactics, we don't know where the money is coming from, the hijacking situation all the time, I don't want to do them any favor. So Cesar Aspiliqueta, I feel you, brother. I know that you deserve to, to, to make your last move. Go back home, enjoy the beach and everything, but... Chelsea also need to be selfish because we don't have anybody. We lost on uh, Jonathan Close. He signed for Marseille. Um, we try other target. It didn't work out. So at the end, if we don't get anybody, I don't think Thomas Tuchel is going to be stupid enough to let Aspilicueta go. He needs to stay. I have enough of Barcelona, to be honest with you. And... Um, Let's talk about Timo Werner a little bit, you know. Timo Werner was complaining about um, about Thomas Tuchel and he said something about Tuchel not uh, not liking him or something in that uh, in that uh, region. But listen, Timo Werner don't have to complain about uh, about uh, Thomas Tuchel because Thomas Tuchel gave him uh, a lot of chances that he didn't take, okay? He was uh, given the proper chances. If you look at the chances that other people are getting, let's say Hakim Ziyech, Christian Pulisic or Kalim Hasnadoy, people will say, oh, they are getting chances. But if you look at the amount of minutes that they are getting, it doesn't mean anything. So people will come up with some stupid statistics the end of the season and say, oh, he got his chances. Okay, how many minutes on the pitch? Five minutes here, ten minutes there, playing from different positions. Literally set to failure. But people who, who don't like those players are going to bring those evil statistics to tell you, oh, he played 38 games, five minutes, 10 minutes, different positions set to failure. But for Werner, over and over and over again, Thomas Tuchel been protecting him in even out there, uh, telling him not even to practice. He said, listen, you don't have to even practice shooting because you know how to score goals since when you were six years old. So you don't even have to practice. It's going to come naturally. He even said, if a woman don't want to go out with you, don't force it. She will come back to you and ask you for dinner and, and all that. So when it comes to Tammy Ebra, he played for 45 minutes only and then Thomas Tuchel took him out and shamed him publicly on the media so many times to say that it's not good enough it's not uh, what we demand at Chelsea Football Club but no matter how many times Timo Werner made stupid mistakes missed open goals like over and over again he was there protecting him playing him every single game Tammy Abraham wasn't even on the bench at some point. So he'd been protected a lot by Thomas Tuchel. He doesn't have to blame anybody here, but he needs to blame himself because finishing is a skill that no manager is going to teach you how to finish those chances. So when you try to say, oh, uh, you know, he doesn't feel appreciated and, and all that. Listen, probably it's time for you to go and go in peace instead of start talking nonsense here and there. He's been talking a lot lately, Timo Werner. But listen, for me, he got all his chances for two years under Lampard and under Thomas Tuchel. And he should just blame himself and not blame anybody else. Listen, people, today is the game between Chelsea Football Club 
and Arsenal in Orlando. Stay tuned because we're gonna be live on the GFC. Uh, be there uh, and let's uh, keep the conversation going. It is what it is, people. Kunde might not happen after the tic-tac that was almost done yesterday. It is what it is.